be so brutally honest, I don't think I've ever felt more weird sitting down to film a video in my entire life than this video because like, Tana, pick something to film that is the most not like you ever in the entire world. Makeup routine, let's go. Yeah, I asked you guys in my last vlog if you wanted it to be like serious or if you wanted it to be like a total fucking joke. And of course, because everyone hates me, they said serious. So I'm gonna do my best to film the most serious makeup routine that I possibly can. Wash your face. I wash my face with Lush's Ocean Salt and Dark Angel, I think it's called. And then I spray it with their like tea tree toner spray. And don't take my skin as an example right now. It's not that I'm broken out. It's that I have a lot of really like dry skin patches and then like acne scars, I guess you could say. And whenever I self tan, it like clings to those because my skin is so dry. So the self tan will make every like imperfection darker than it really is. Normally I have pretty clear skin. I get like random breakouts and like a lot of little blackheads. But like all of this is not like regular acne because the Lush stuff does me so well. Without that, I have acne, but I still have acne, but just not as much. So yeah, that's, yeah, okay, I'm gonna shut up. And then, just a quick preface, I got eyelash extensions like, um, like two weeks ago. I absolutely hate them, literally about to glue fake eyelashes over them, but that's an entire video within itself, so I'm just gonna shut up and start filming. So step one is after you wash your face to remove your lower mascara from the night before because you're not very clean because me too. For Christmas, I got the most bougie makeup cases you'll ever see in life. Before this, I had the most embarrassing like train case from Walmart that I bought before I went to Reno last that was like pink and black chevron and looked like something an eight year old would just fucking love. But it was really embarrassing and I don't really like the combo of pink and black that much. So it was just not me, but this is very me. Like step one, we're gonna take this roller ball and roll this under our eyes because dark circles are not our friends. They make one by Garnier, but this is the Walmart version because I'm cheap and they work exactly the same. So I mean like, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely the type of person that will like sadly spend $30 on a mascara, but like when Walmart makes something exactly like Garnier, I'll save 30 cents because I feel like that's like such a good deal. Like. My sense of saving money is so like stupid. Like I just, I don't even know. Then the next product that I use is L'Oreal's Magic Perfecting Base, which is a primer. And it's from the drugstore. I always would use um, Benefits like Poreless, whatever that is. I don't know what it's called. Or Smashbox Photo Finish. But I tried this on a whim because I saw it in a YouTube video and it comes in like this little thing. And then I use a Sony Keshuk like, like face brush. But like, I don't think you understand. Like this is better than any high end primer I've ever tried. Like. I believe it's like silicone based because usually silicone based primers like work so much better than other primers because they just like cover every pore ever and like this literally does that and I die and it's like eight dollars and it smells great and it's pink like what what more like what more could I fucking ask for like literally what more if I'm looking this way it's because I'm in a hotel not a room and I'm doing my makeup in the viewfinder so just fucking deal with it you wanted a makeup routine did you think it was gonna be good no okay like no like it's like no like no like I'm sorry so, yeah, that was a bit hostile. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so I just kind of like paint this over my entire face because it says to put over imperfections and like this is an imperfection. So I'm not saying I'm like, oh my god, I'm so ugly. Call me pretty like fishing for compliments. I just mean like I have a lot of little pores. So yeah, if you guys have seen my gross fetishes video, you know that I'm like utterly obsessed with popping blackheads. So if I have any, like bye Felicia and then I pay for it. So like. That's my shit, you know? Then we're gonna put on some lip balm because like, if you're not putting on lip balm, are you like even doing your makeup? Because like, I don't think so, so. <laughs> Thanks for supporting me. <laughs> when your boyfriend is one room over and laughs at your horrible joke because me too. Tana, are you organized? Fuck no. That noise wasn't very good. Like, I mean, I just broke something, but. <laughs> Okay, we're all a little bit broken, okay? So normally I do my makeup in the most like fucked up dumb bitch order. Like right now I would like eyelashes, eyebrows, and then foundation, which is just utterly fucking stupid. So I'm gonna try to do this in like a sequential order like most normal people so that this is easier to follow. So if I look disoriented and fucking lost, it's because I am. So I use Makeup Forever HD foundation. And I love it so, so, so much. Like, it photographs so well. Being a YouTube ass bitch, like, it looks great on camera. Love it. Living for it. The coverage is great. It lasts forever. 
I religiously used Kat Von D tattoo foundation for like a year and a half like only used that which if you have any problems with your skin like acne like scarring like dark circles anything that foundation literally will cover a tattoo it's called the tattoo foundation because it can cover a tattoo so like any problems I recommend that over this because this is a lot thinner but like that foundation because it's so thick was making my incredibly dry skin like more dry so I switched to makeup forever because it's like a thinner consistency still with like a good coverage and a good staying power but but like with the preface if you want like the fullest coverage foundation you can buy that will make your skin look utterly flawless I recommend the Kat Von D one but if you just want like a normal really good full coverage foundation makeup forever HD is the absolute best one on the market in my opinion and I've tried a lot of foundation because I'm a fake ass bitch I always make sure to like buff it onto like my ears and neck even if it is like the exact same like color just because like even if it's the same color I think that it looks really really weird when like your face is like smooth and perfectly covered and then like your neck has like tones and shit like I feel like it gives away the look of foundation a lot more obviously it's not like it's a secret I wear a secret foundation but like you know what I mean I don't know. feel free to just buff it directly into your hairline especially if you have blonde hair like the outside can just be orange as fuck like it, it's okay like it's cool the other day someone literally commented on one of my videos like why did your hair look like that like there's something in your hair and I was like kind of a piece of shit like what do you want from me I'm gonna take the Maybelline age rewind concealer and I'm trying to make this video short but I just need to sit here and like take a really small moment to just thank not only God but Jesus for this concealer and I mean that there is no better product at the drugstore than this product I don't care what anyone tells you ever in life if you can buy one singular item from a drugstore to make you look like a better person buy this I believe so avidly in this I would buy stock in this I would wear shirts with this on it like I love it so much like so much like it's one of those things that you just put it on and you like instantly you're like I am so cute like oh my god like you know yeah so I go ahead and put it under my eyes in like a, a triangle shape because like secretly I'm a part of the Illuminati but I've just like really been trying to keep it from you guys so like shh then I'm gonna take my ring finger and or my middle finger and blend that I like to use my finger for this because your hands are warm and it helps the concealer to melt into your skin seamlessly so yeah I, I didn't create that some beauty guru taught me that don't worry we're not professional here now since we just put like 92 layers of cake on our face I like to give it a second to dry that's really sad like most people have to wait for this much to like dry but like I feel like if I let it sit for a second before I put a bunch of other shit on it, it looks better throughout the day. Now I'm going to go ahead and set everything that I just did right now with the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And I like to put my contour on top of this powder, which is not like necessarily the norm for most people. But I feel like if I put the contour on and then the powder, that like the little small white tinge of this powder like shows on the contour. And I used to use the Makeup Forever HD one to like match this. But that one is like $40 for like the smallest little baby container. And this is like the biggest container. And it literally does the same thing. Like obviously the Makeup Forever one is like a finer, nicer powder. Like meh. But like it's a setting powder. I don't really care. It's really clean. It's a really, really clean product. Like it doesn't make a mess like at all, you know? And then every time I dip that, I just make sure to tap it off. Because if you put too much and then you take any pictures, your face will kind of have like a like a white tint to it which is like normal with any setting powder like that so if you go ahead and just like tap it off it's like a little bit less but it still does the job pretty much the same and then after I like set it on I like to kind of like swirl and stipple hence the term stippling brush I'm such a beauty guru like I fucking know my shit bitch feel free to just spill it everywhere like it's only six dollars just spill it everywhere because that's that's what I really like to go for you know like I feel like you don't get the full effect of the product unless you just fucking destroy everything with it. Cause like, same. If you get it all over your black leggings, bonus points. Over 9,000. Fucking round of applause. So now I fill in my eyebrows while I'm still kind of waiting for this to settle. And the way I do my eyebrows is very, very, very weird. I used Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow for like years. And then one day just like up and fucking hated it. Like I hate it so much. Now I don't know why. It just is very, very harsh. And, like, I'm not great at eyebrowing. Like, I know how to fill it in. I know how to make it look better than it does. Like, whatever. But, like, 
with dip brow like my eyebrows were just like too much like too dark too harsh like whatever I'll try to include a picture and it's gonna be so like horrendous and sad so now I use the naked basics palette shade faint which is really weird but I could never find a brow powder that was like the perfect color for my face and then one day I just randomly tried this and now this is like my seventh Naked Basics palette because I just keep rebuying them for this shade, which is so sad. And like I have like four at home that have all these colors in them. This one completely gone. And like how to keep buying them for the color. And I've tried to go to like MAC, Inglot, places like that to find like the same color in like a single shadow. Like I just bought MAC's um, Brown Down because it was similar and like looks like shit. Like nothing looks better than this. And then I just use an angled brush to kind of like Fill in the natural shape of my brows. Like I said, I am no fucking Carly by Belle. I'm not great at eyebrows, so like, don't really take my advice from this. Like, I'm kind of like a pro at this, so I also just like know this off the top of my head. Like, not from like a YouTube video or anything. To take like a, like a pencil or a brush or anything and like run it along your nose and then wherever it hits, like right here, you should never bring your brows past that, which is like the proiest of pro tip that I've ever learned in life so like thank you so much that's about it like I said natural shape of my brows just darker I've always filled in my eyebrows darker because I feel like with like my makeup it looks better a lot of people are gonna disagree with that dark eyebrows are really one of those things that you either love or hate and I've always been one to love it like Cara Delevingne like her eyebrows fucking slay me but a lot of people hate them it's just one of those things where like either you like it or you fucking don't and I'm really just not out here to please the public, you know, like it's really all about me and my eyebrows, so. Yeah, like I'm really, really, really sorry that like you feel that way, but like, I'm just me, you know, just like the girl next door, you know? When your boyfriend keeps laughing at your terrible jokes and you just like love him because me too. Then I like to use this thing, which looks like porcupine pubic hair, and I just kind of like to like go in right here so it's like hey you didn't blend your eyebrows that well it's okay we fucking have you and now right now I probably look really weird with dark eyebrows but once you know everything's popping I really like it I don't know a lot of people hate it it's probably gonna be the most thumbed up comment shout out to you most thumbed up comment because I'm predicting you that's so raven so the next thing I use is the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I normally use a MAC like 168 brush, which is life for this. I think it's 168. I could be wrong. I'll put the actual number on the screen. But because traveling, I'm using the cheap Target version of that. So, yeah. Now you're going to suck in your cheekbones like a fish because I'm a pro YouTuber and like know that, you know. I'm actually a pro beauty guru. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm still like blinded by the contour, you know. And then once it's on there, you're just going to like fucking go at it. Fucking fuck yourself until you nut blending that shit, okay. <laughs> make sure to just take one hair from your head and stick it up just like that one is because like otherwise you're not gonna look perfect like me so sorry if you like can't do that you know like I'm sorry you don't have such damaged hair because they'll just never be on my level not a pro didn't teach myself that watched an e-how tutorial on how to contour like Kim Kardashian and now we're fucking here bitches like highlighting brush that I used to stipple on the um like setting powder but I went ahead and cleaned it off with a makeup wipe because traveling yep okay and then I take the same light shade above the one that I conjured with in this palette and I just like to kind of use like the slightest little bit under my eyes and on the tops of my cheekbones so that light is attracted to it because like everything is already attracted to me so like light might as well be attracted to me too you know and now my face is fully contoured and highlighted I'm not really a blush girl if you like blush you just smile and then you put on the apples of your cheeks. But, like, I hate anything colorful and happy. So, like, now I'm going to put on some eyelashes. You guys ask me every single video ever which eyelashes I use. And I use the Kiss number 11 Ever Easy Lash, which you can only buy in an 8-pack and you can only get at Walmart. And they're the hardest thing ever to find. And when I find them, I buy, like, 10 so that I always have them. And I... In my opinion, they are the best fake eyelashes on the fake eyelash market. And I've tried a lot of fake eyelashes. A lot of people really like the ones by Ardell that are, like, wispy. These are, like, those, but just fucking baby Jesus blessed. Then you're going to take your really dirty and disgusting bottle of duo gray to black lash glue. I hate the clear one. I hate it when you look at a girl and you can see her clear eyelash glue on the edges of her eye. And it looks like somebody just came so hard in her eye. Like, it's such a bad look. 
So I like the gray one because then it's like, hey, I just put on some smoky eyeliner. I'm like so good at makeup. Now we're gonna like glue this to our faces. And I'm not even gonna lie, if I tried to give you a tutorial on this, you'd probably die laughing at how terrible it was. Ehow makes really great ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna like self promo Ehow because I suck. So now I take Rimmel London Scandalized Retro Glam Mascara. It is the best mascara to exist on this planet. You make the ugly mascara face because that's important to me. Take the MAC Boldly Bear Lip Pencil and line my lips. On my bottom lip, I like to go, um, like, I don't really like to overline them, but like instead of putting the liner on the bottom of my lip, I go like directly under. So I guess that is overlining. I just literally said I don't like to overline them, but I overline them. Yep. So the sun is now setting, so I'm gonna try to hurry, but once my lips are lined, they just look a little bit fuller. I'm obsessed with it. Sometimes I will just fill in my whole lip with this lip liner because it's like a gorgeous color on its own. But my absolute all-time life favorite, life-changing lipstick is Max Honey Love. Amazing. Kylie Jenner wears Velvet Teddy, which is like a darker shade of this, and I originally went there to buy this, like that. And the lady was like, you need to try this. It's better for your skin tone. And it is insane. So if you want the Kylie Jenner lip color, but you don't have like black hair and black eyebrows like me, this one is a lot more flattering and very similar. All right, now we're done. We're officially the most cake face bitches of life. And now I'm just going to take the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and set my entire face. I also like MAC Fix Plus, but I feel like this is a much, much longer hold. And then I wait a second because I feel like someone pissed all over your face. And then if I want to look like more like sultry, I will do black eyeliner on my waterline and NARS Turkish Delight lip gloss on my lips. But today is just not one of those days, so. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh my God, hair of the day, I'm ready. Looks great. Looks so great. So yeah, if you guys want me to do a hair routine video eventually in life to how I get it from this to the way it looks in my videos, I will gladly also film that. But if you enjoyed my makeup routine that was filmed with horrible lighting and a horrible camera with horrible products and my horrible hair at the end, make sure to subscribe and thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed my Not A Beauty Guru makeup routine yeah cool subscribe to my vlog channel for vlogs of what i'm doing today i love you so much bye